Today on Learning, we're going to show you how to apply a stationary mask to a moving object. And it's going to look a little something like this. Hey guys, I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you're watching Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> Alright guys, so in order to do the alpha map, what we're first going to do is we're going to create a new composition. Ooh. So Pump it up. We, we're going to create a composition and we're going to select, I don't know, let's let's try a a blue background. I'm um, blue. Like, dabba dee dabba dabba die. Die. Looks kind of like the sky. There we Ooh. go. Ooh, All right. baby. Ooh, baby. All right, so we went ahead and we've added a couple of PNGs into our project folder here. So first one we've added is a plane here. Soren majestically. Nice Soren PNG plane. And go. the second thing we've added is a nice cloud in the sky. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's say we want the plane to sort of come in front of the cloud here and then maybe right towards where the cloud is a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. We want it to sort of disappear into the cloud. Okay. Right? Say you're trying to do something like that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do naturally is create a mask. So if we put a mask right here, maybe in the cloud, what would happen is when the plane, if you invert the mask, what you would think it would happen is the plane would enter the mask and disappear, but the problem is this, the mask actually moves with the plane. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. We want, we want the plane to move into the mask. We don't want the mask to move at all. Right. So how do we fix that? How will we ever get around this dilemma? How it we can't get through be the solved. cloud? We guess we just can't do it, right? <laughs> we just can't do it. That's not. Sorry, we started this tutorial, guys. I guess we can't show you how to do this because it's impossible. It's not impossible, Brent. Nothing's impossible. What? It's not impossible. So we're gonna show you how to do it. All right. Wow. Ready? So we don't need this mask. Let's get rid of the mask. So what we want to actually do is we want to deselect all of our layers down here. Okay. And we're gonna create a shape layer. So we're gonna go up to our pen tool up here. And let's say we want the plane to disappear sort of in the same spot, right about here. Interesting. So maybe we can make that a little bit bigger because we want the plane to disappear for good. Oh, wow. It's just gone into so, another dimension. What we've sort of done here is we've sort of, in a way, created a mask shape. But it's not a mask right now. Yeah, it's like a weird blue blob. It's a weird blue blob. But what we can do now is we can go down to our layers down here. Okay. And we're going to take our plane layer and we're going to go to our track mat section here. And if you hit this little drop down, you can alpha mat the uh, plane to shape layer one, which is the shape layer we just created. Okay. So see what happens there is Whoa. it alpha matted it, but the problem is it's only going to appear when it's inside the shape. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but it's not what we want, though. We don't want that. We want it to disappear inside the shape. So okay. we're going to go back down to the track mat, and we're going to hit alpha inverted mat. So that's going to do the opposite. There yeah, that's we go. That's the one. So, wham. Wham. As the plane approaches the cloud... Into it, the void, never it, to be seen again. Yeah, so now you don't have to worry about the mask moving with it. It's kind of just there permanently. And it will only affect whatever layer is applied to it. So we've got this layer selected to it. Gotcha. So it has to be uh, the layer below the shape layer because that's the only way that it can read it properly. You gotcha. can't put it above it or else it won't. It won't work right. It won't work right. Okay. So let's hit our P key down here on the keyboard. Bring up position and we'll create a keyframe here. And then maybe six seconds in, we will drag the plane over here so that it disappears into the cloud. So let's see what that looks like. Maybe we'll uh, move it actually a little further out. Alright, let's see this. So let's check this out. So that's a really slow plane. That plane is really taking its, it's time. It's so slow. So let's speed it up a little. So here we go. The plane is entering the cloud and oh, it is me. disappearing into the oh, clouds. Oh, it's gone. But you know what? I'm thinking that's kind of looking kind of crappy because I don't like how is it the hard line? Straight the line is. It's a hard line. So now I'm gonna try something here. Do we're I draw a hard line here? I'm gonna on try this hard line. We're gonna try and add a fast blur. We're Ooh. gonna see what that does. Because that might actually uh, create a little bit less of a hard line. So let's okay. up the blurriness a little bit. 
And would you look at that? That actually creates sort of a blur on the edges and uh, the plane, rather than it just disappearing straight up into the clouds, mm -hmm. sort of has this foggy descent into Ooh, the clouds. wow. And then it disappears. And it's gone forever. Yeah. So parts unknown. The part, it departs to the Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle, Berenstein, Berenstein Bears. Yeah. Um, Drain the Rock Johnson. Mandela Effect. The uh, <laughs> Journey to the Mysterious Island, too. Yes. You know. um, journey to the Center of the Earth. Journey to we're about to the, get cut off any second to Zach. So there it is. Uh, there's the uh, track mat. Now there are other ways you can apply it. The way that we've mainly used this uh, effect is through moving text. Okay. And uh, making text maybe disappear behind an object mm -hmm. or something. So let's uh, let's go to the internet and we'll find a uh, ATM machine. PNG. Here we go. Here we go now. And uh, we'll just take any old ATM machine here. There you go. That's looking ATM-like. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We'll save it. Drag that in there. There we Do go. Do our project folder. And now, Brent, uh, why don't you pick what, what the text is going to be? The government is monitoring your movements. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm digging it. So we'll put the ATM sh machine right here. And uh, we'll, we'll write out the government... Government, gotta make sure we spell it. We spelled right. it right this time. Don't worry. Monitoring. No typos. Monitoring. Right? Monitoring? Monitoring? Oh, oh god. Maybe oh, we sorry. should just switch it to watching. The government is watching you. your you. Yeah, the government is watching you. I feel good about that. I like that too. It's short and sweet and to the point. It's sweet, it's the truth. Let's 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 add some Illuminati. Pyramids, you know, yep. all seeing eyes. So we've added our triangle here. Our, our all seeing eye. Illuminati triangle, and we're going to add the all seeing eye here. Crappy little eye. Yep. Maybe you'll make that fill blue. And then maybe red for the middle. Maybe red for the middle. Because it's all seeing. It's like Sauron there we looking go. down on yeah. us. <laughs> Freaking Lord of the and then, Butts. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. You know, we also go like, I don't know, mustache kit or something. You think they have a PNG for mustache kits? Let's find out. Mustache, mustache kit. kit PNG. Oh my god. Well, this is weird stuff. I mean, if you're talking about this being, I mean, still not a PNG. Yeah. It's it's sort of a mustache kit. It's like a beard in mustache kit. Emergency mustache Got kit. a nice uh, Tom Selleck picture there. I like it. All right, we're not going to use a mustache no, kit. No, well, we don't need a mustache kit. What we're going to have this do is we're going to have the government is watching you disappear into the ATM machine. Now, you could put this underneath the ATM machine in layers and sort of make it go that way, but it's still showing up behind. So yeah. let's make an alpha mat. So we're gonna make sure everything's deselected because we don't want to accidentally make a mask here. And we're gonna sort of loosely trace this ATM machine here. We've got our shape layer here. Remember what we said about having it be above the layer that you want it to apply it to? Yep. So we're going to bring it right above the government is watching you here. Okay. And then we're going to take the government is watching you and alpha inverted mat to shape layer four. Okay. So that now okay. when we go to the government is watching you and go to our position tool, it disappears into the ATM machine. Boom. All your wow. information is getting absorbed. By the ATM machine. Just like the Illuminati. Just like my brain. Just like our brains and, and this, throw that this in plane. There. Just like this Boom. plane and that brain and that the eye. Y'all seeing eye? So let's let's check it out. Let's let's play what our oh little video is here. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely, the government is watching you and making planes disappear into the loom the uh Bermuda tri Triangle. Well I'd say this is probably the weirdest graphic <laughs> we've ever made. But it this, it, it gets to the point. But be be certain you will see it in an upcoming yeah. episode oh, yeah. of Tesla Time News. Even if it's for one split second, we'll, we'll subliminally we'll drop it in there. Yeah. You won't even It'll know. It'll flash in every 10 frames. Because ultimately what we're about is, you know, truth. Yeah. Truth bombs. We're truth seekers. We're truth seekers. It's here to fight for the common man. Yep. And um, we're doing it one subliminal graphic at a time. See this <laughs> This is the pill of knowledge. Oh, no, it stings. The knowledge hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Thanks for watching. Brent. With Bobby and Brent. <laughs>
<laughs> so Brent died. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Whoa! I got a new song to play, you guys. Oh. Oh, he's gonna play. You know, that sounds awfully familiar. Did you write that? Tesla Time Story Zach, Jesse, Bobby, Brent, and me Why'd we say Bobby twice? We both said Bobby twice. It's like we both knew that there's two Bobbies. Which Earth are we on? Earth 1 or Earth 2? <laughs> <laughs> that ending was a little scary. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so today we're going to be doing a really cool thing called Alpha Mat. Ooh. Is it called Alpha Mat? Is it called Alpha Matting? I think it's called Alpha Mat Track. Alpha Track. Alpha Mat Track. Alpha Mat Track. Alpha Mat Track. We're going to show you how to do an Alpha Mat Track. Are we? If we don't know how to, what it's called, then <laughs> we'll just do the intro later. Yep. So here we have a composition, and we've grabbed... We, we what? We grabbed... You alright, Bobby? Oh man, every time we do have learnings, my like, stomach gets upset. That's your bull leg, it's real. Blah, blah, blah. I ate it and you're just feeling I'm it. I'm feeling this bull leg. This is a good example of how you could use a mouse that works. 